Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. It is time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yeah, this one's weird. Uh, this one is weird. We're gonna talk about Disney being accused of overreach by the Reedy Creek Board. This is the uh, whatever, whatever tourism oversight board committee for Central people who Florida. don't like Disney and stuff. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. And uh, there is a potential lawsuit brewing because Disney apparently snuck some stuff in at the very end to try to make sure that they still had control of how everything was going to go it's down. It's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It kind of reminds me of the stories you've heard about, like, I don't know if it was Aerosmith or the Rolling Stones, where they said that uh, to make sure that people were actually reading their contracts, they're like, you bring me a bowl of only green M&Ms or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. It's like Disney wanted to see if these guys were paying attention and they're paying attention and they're pissed. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we're gonna talk about more layoffs at Disney. Uh, Ike Perlmutter out, out. I thought he was gone already. He was, his power was greatly diminished, but now apparently he's out the damn door. Uh, also their chief compliance officer and the compliance officer's job was to basically make sure Disney didn't do anything unethical. <laughs> So now the- Well, uh, they weren't doing their job probably before. You know how in Spider-Man 2, when Doc Ock, yeah, and his inhibitor chip shorts out and then the tentacles take over? Well, that's, see, the thing is, <laughs> I think the tentacles took over a long time ago. Yes, this is yes. just, the, the, the chip wasn't working. It was just in place. Who needs ethics? Well, clearly, when you have the whole thing with the, the Rudy Creek thing. Right, I right. I mean- who needs ethics? Ethics schmethics. That's uh, the chips are down. We gotta do what we gotta do, boys. We gotta do what we gotta Imagine do. Imagine that. Disney does really underhanded shit. No one would have saw that coming. So we're gonna talk about uh, all of this in a very special episode of your daily dose of Dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost 300,000 subs. Yay. Thank you for the support. Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney news. Uh, there's a lot more objective Disney news now because everybody is turning against Disney, mm -hmm. I think, than there was before. But we were one of the first naysayers. And yes. my God, did we take did we take our lumps for that? Mm -hmm. But uh, now everybody else is starting to see just what kind of company Disney actually is. Uh, so let's talk about these layoffs first, uh, just to kind of a, a roundup of layoffs, and then we'll talk about what's going on with Reedy Creek. So, yeah, apparently they uh, laid off Ike Perlmutter. They laid off some other people, too. He was one of them. Yeah, so um, he has been out the door. Perlmutter, I thought he was already gone. I thought he was, too. He was uh, – so he came with Toy Biz, mm -hmm. and they owned uh, – or were part of Mar – I forget how it was structured exactly, but basically he came in when Disney bought – Marvel. He came right. with the company. He was kind of like Milton with the stapler. Like he just kind of came with the company. Nobody knows where he came from. Uh, but he was the toy biz guy and he was kind of running the show for the first part of the MCU. And then they uh, diminished his role greatly and, and gave all the power to Kevin Feige. And then everything went to hell in a handbasket. Mm -hmm. So as I understand it, Perlmutter was the guy who was actually against them bringing in the 2015 to 2017 Marvel characters. But he was also the one that was like really, really, really cheap. Like, yes. Like yes. when they did TV shows, the reason they failed was because he wouldn't get the budget they needed to do them well, allegedly, possibly. Yeah. So the TV shows were his domain. And of course, they did the Inhumans and That's Med what I'm Medusa's of. hair didn't actually do what it was supposed to do, which is speaking of tentacles. Mm -hmm. Um, they like shaved her head or some stupid shit. Yes, like it wasn't like that. It was so stupid. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, he's out the door. Uh, Pearl Mutter's run at Marvel was often controversial as the executive recently tried and failed to shake up Disney's board. That's, that was the Nelson Peltz thing. I think he was. The coup. Yeah. Yeah, he they, was in on that. Yeah, because he was pissed off about being sidelined. So, yeah, he came with Marvel. He came with Toy Biz because Toy Biz basically ran Marvel, owned Marvel at some point. It's hard to, I mean, Marvel's whole history know. is all over the damn place. They've been bought, sold so many times. Now they're parked at Disney. But, yeah, he tried to help stage a coup with his friend Nelson Peltz. That didn't go very well. And now they're pushing them out the damn door. That's the thing. Um, you always have to go for the head, right? If you're going to do something like that, because yeah. you're going to get snapped. So I'm thinking what I'm thinking of is this, the small, the, the smaller round of layoffs that's happening right now. Yes. I think it's going to be like these executives. And then the big one's going to be all the underlings that are, you know, the, the majority of people who are going to get cut. Yeah. Yeah. So he wanted to fire. He wanted to fire Kevin Feige. So, yeah. Well, was, I can't say I blame him at this point. And then um, he was supposedly behind the ousting of Bob Chapek. So, and, wait, wait. You know. He wanted to hi fire, hi fire Feige. In 2015, right around the time they started all these bad decisions. 
Yeah. The bad decisions came to pass. Marvel's in a dumpster. It's it's this it's this crashing and burning as we speak. So their answer is to get rid of him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Iger wrote in his book, The Ride of a Lifetime, that Ike Perlmutter kept putting roadblocks in the way of movies like Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Okay, well, yeah, because he, if it was a case of where, oh, I don't think a movie that led by black people or women, then yeah, he's a douche. I'm sorry. I, I think there's something else going on. I think the guy, since he was in charge of Marvel for a long time, was very well aware of which characters sold and which ones did not sell. But he was wrong about Black Panther. He was wrong about Black Panther. Captain Marvel, I'll give him, but he was wrong about Black Panther. But it might have been a case of he's like, yeah, you know what? We cannot do Ms. Marvel. We cannot do, because the I, I, I'm so telling you. So he was basically you, against the MCU. Yes. But for good reason, yes. and it didn't work. It didn't work, so now, of course, they got rid of him. So um, any hope for the MCU to, to possibly bring back the uh, the old guard or at least bring back, you know, the the Avengers as people want them. I don't them, know, It's though. kind of... Because they're losing money. And money talks. So I don't know. They might, they might have to walk back some decisions. So they also let go of their SVP and chief compliance officer. This is Alicia Swartz. Uh, Deadline has learned uh, her role is going to be absorbed by senior executive VP and general like counsel. The SVP as EVP. How many damn captains are on the damn? <gasps> oh, so they got rid of a woman so that a, a, a dude can take over. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, well, that well, what the hell, Disney? So the corporate <laughs> compliance function oversees compliance with Disney's global ethics and standards. Global. Of- yeah, ethics and standards of business conduct and manages regulatory compliance with anti-corruption and trade law. So that means Disney's going to be a whole lot more corrupt. Well, no, no. they have somebody else coming <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But... I mean, I think it was just a redundancy. I think they were just like, we don't need this many people to look at the laws and whatever. Yeah, the less looking at the laws, the better. Um, we can claim ignorance. Then we can just plead ignorance. Like, we didn't know. Um, it's like Steve Martin, you know? It's like, how do you get out of paying taxes? And you're a millionaire? Well, first you get a million dollars. And then when the IRS shows up, you just say, I forgot. That doesn't work. <laughs> By the way, that doesn't work. They'll find you. Um, so, yeah, speaking of, of lawsuits and legal stuff, let's talk about this horse shit. Mm-hmm. So the Reedy Creek Board, the new Reedy Creek Board, Reedy Creek 2.0. It's the Central Florida, Florida Tourism Oversight Board. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that that thing, that organization, yeah, they met and they, they caught a couple of things that Disney uh, did on the mm-hmm. way out. And they basically are trying to throw a wrench into this new board being able to do anything in relation to Walt Disney World. So Disney Disney passed some things in their old Reedy Creek Board that basically gave Disney all their power anyway. And then said, "Oh, that, that's you know, no take backs. You know, it's you know, it's the kind of thing." And yeah. now they're like, so basically, Disney gets to, to control everything anyway because they said so. Um, you know, some of the stuff they were saying, they think they were doing it as the thing was being signed, right before yes. it was being signed. And it's like, wow, that's just the that's the epitome. I, that's so Disney. Yeah. So now there's going to potentially be a lawsuit over this because mm-hmm. Disney tried to. And the, the, you look at the language is absolutely ridiculous. Basically. This this kind of explains why they didn't seem very concerned. Mm-hmm. Oh, this explains everything. Because they're like, oh, we got this. We got this. We we threw a couple of things in there. It's got to throw a wrench into it. Now, if anybody did this to Disney, oh, my God. They'd be like suing the pants off you and be like, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, yeah, we forgot to mention, speaking of that, the whole thing. You can't do that. Uh, Victoria Alonzo, she's suing them now. Oh, I she, she already was suing them. She is, but now she's saying that they got rid of her because... Uh, oh, it has she, nothing to do with her ob- being the lesbian. She the objected to a gay scene in a movie over, or, or objected to them blurring out a gay scene. Or I don't buy that. Bullshit. Whatever. Victoria Alonzo got gone because Victoria Alonzo wasn't doing her damn job. That is the, exactly The right. VFX stuff that she was in charge on post-production has been a train wreck she apparently was causing toxic issues with all the people that were trying were trying to get to work with them to the place they're in trouble finding people to work with them yep. post-production was her department everything got pushed back because it was all tied up whether or not it's because she was working other movie or not it sounds like she was though because people kept saying she take personal days to go do her own work and then yep. not do the work she needs to do that's why she got fired don't use the whole I'm a gay Latina shield now, Victoria Alonzo. Well Fuck you. That woman there's a woman who got fired that was at the the uh one of the the oversight people. Yeah. Well is she gonna be able to claim well, I'm a woman? Oh, I'm sure. You know, I mean, come on, this is stupid. You got fired because you weren't doing your job and it's obvious. It is very obvious. So anyway, uh the March 29th meetings hot topic was a pair of agreements, development agreement and restrictive covenants. 
that according to the district special counsel, strip district leadership of its of most of its development related decision making powers. So basically, Disney's like, yeah, you can take it over, but you can't do anything. How does that work? So because if that was the case, any company ever or any government ever could just say, we're fine, we're we're putting this in right before somebody else comes in, no take backs. Yeah. Then th- that's never going to fly. You know it, that. That's really not. Yeah. So the agreements were approved by the former district board on February 8th. Which is the same day they they signed the bill. Yes. The same day the Florida House passed the bill, which created the new board appointed uh, by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. So on the way out, on the way out, Mickey gave... Florida, the finger. But basically, Mickey gave themselves all the power. Which yes. they can't, How can you do that? Your board is dissolved. But before the board is dissolved, the day it's getting dissolved, you're going to give yourself all the power no matter what. That is not how any of this works. This is exactly why they were not concerned. They're like, yeah, we, we can't wait till they take over. <laughs> you know? But we can hear the wording. It's so ridiculous. Yes. The new February 8th agreements require Disney to have the final say on any specific plans the district may have on land the district owns or oversees. So basically, we're going to change all this because we're taking your we're taking your different things away. Nah, we have final say and we deny it. Oh, just wait. It gets it gets ridiculous. To ensure consistency with the overall design and theming of the Walt Disney Parks and Resorts properties, the exterior design, appearance, and exterior aesthetic qualities of any improvements, including without limitation alterations to any portion of the RCID property subject to Disney's prior review and comment, which shall not be unreasonably withheld, conditioned, or delayed, okay. to the agreements. If it's about like making sure everything looks like fits with the with the area, then okay, that I understand, and I think that they should have the final say on things like uh, you know aesthetic stuff. Okay, right. but I don't think it's just that. In addition, one of Disney's agreements states it shall remain in effect until 21 years after the death of the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles III, King of England, living uh, as of the date of this declaration. Yes, that's literally what they put in there. (laughs) And the funny thing is, we're going to go out to WDW News today, and they're talking about it too. And they said, hey, there's going to be a lawsuit. They didn't bring up how ridiculous this agreement was. They did not mention the King Charles thing. At all. They're just I mean, like, I get the wanting the final say to make sure everything matches up aesthetically. That one I understand, you know, but the problem is they're putting they're putting the things in play that basically you'll give them full power even if they're not in there. Yes. Board member Brian Unst, I think it's Unst Jr., was among the most vocal against the agreements, calling it overreaching and a subversion of the new state law. Well, yeah, it was. It's not the way I wanted to start off this process. I'm hopeful Disney will work with us and we can correct this in a collaborative Disney manner. Disney put a statement out. It doesn't sound like they're going to. No, we're going to read that after we get through this here. Uh, it's a subversion of the will of the voters, the legislature, and the governor, and it completely circumvents the authority of this board to govern. Uh, the board plans to further review the agreements and see what it can do next. Unk said it remains to be seen if the board would consider legal action against Disney. Uh, meanwhile, Disney has taken the stance that has done no wrong. Oh, here's what they said right here. All agreements signed between Disney and the district were appropriate. Yeah, were the, just, the King Charles one, the really? The King Charles one. And were discussed and approved in open notice public forums in compliance with Florida's government in the Sunshine okay, Law. Okay, but where were these open public forums? And they were public, they were noted, they were noticed in public forums. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what people do sometimes, and it's really shitty. And I don't know if this, I don't know if this is the case here. But like sometimes it's like it's like a school board, for example, wants to hire for a position. Yeah. And they want a position, they want certain people for the position. They will go and put an advertisement in another area that's not the school district you're in and say, well, it was advertised. Mm-hmm. It was that was run one day and a hundred miles away, but we advertised it. What will happen sometimes is they will actually advertise like, oh, hey, this guy's going to start this business name, this in some like rural newspaper or something that like two people are going to read and none of none of it. And then they can say, hey, we, we did our due diligence. We advertised it. I mean, I'm not saying that's what they did here, you know, but, but that's kind yeah. of what it sounds like they did here. But I don't know if that's what they did. Yeah, so they're talking about the uh, the board meeting when they said they might get rid of Bay Lake and Lake Buena Vista. Um, you know, they said this came up because Unks, who brought up the topic, said he wants the district to oversee all those cities' law enforcement contracts or ensure the cities cannot supersede the district's building codes or land planning powers. Um, so it sounds to me like Disney is just trying to lock in that, like... They you- went and did it before. They, so it's fine if you take over. You can't do anything. But I don't understand how you can do this. If you know a, a board is getting taken over by somebody else or it's getting, you know, the, any place could do this and basically be like, you can't change it, neener, neener, neener. And, 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 you know, nothing ever gets done and that can't, it can't hold up. 
You know, I don't yeah. see how that can hold up, especially when you did it knowing this is going to be signed. I think that they, they going to court, they might have to. Yeah, so this is coming from WDW News Today, which does not mention the uh, King Charles clause. That was so stupid. By name, but they kind of talk about it. They said it's being said that lawyers were hired to challenge the agreements uh, Reedy Creek's old board approved right before DeSantis' new board took over. One of the important agreements includes a developer agreement, which outlines Disney's right over district property for the next 30 years, regardless of what the new board says. But that's not how this works. That's not how this works. The, the agreements are being called unusual and suspect yeah. by the district's legal counsel. They argue that they just found out that these agreements were all recently approved over the past few months. They were most likely put in place as an insurance so policy for Disney. Disney News is coming. So they started having these meetings. And, oh, oh we, we, we put it out there that we did this. We put this notice out someplace and no one ever saw it. But, you know, hey, it's not our fault that you didn't read this other paper or this other place or whatever. And didn't come to every meeting to know. Yeah, the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District argued the aforementioned agreements are unlawful and should not have been allowed. It is kind of shitty. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he said that they would, um, they're would. Uh, they taking an adversarial position against the company now. He also suggested they take this case to the Supreme Court and protected litigation against Disney. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen here, but they're going to sue him for basically sneaking this stuff in. And uh, But then the flip side is they'll be like, well, you should have read the agreement more carefully and you didn't. Uh, you know, well, the thing is, they they did this on the they uh, they were signing it. Yes, so this is. I mean, I think they're gonna. I think Disney Disney because they could lose this one actually because this one is just beyond. And given how combative DeSantis's board is with Disney at this point, um, they might just be like, hey, yeah, you know what? We're gonna walk that back and we're gonna put some big ass ugly stuff right on your front lawn, Disney. Because, you know, you did this because, uh, yeah, they want to make sure that, you know, Disney World looks presentable, whatever. But they might be like, you know what? Hey, if Universal wants to put a billboard right in front of freaking Mickey I Mouse. Know, it's outside the Disney property. Yeah, right? outside. You know, Universal wants to pay us to park a big billboard right, right on top of Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that for them just to stick it to you because you guys were being douchebags. It is ridiculous. We want to make sure that we get, basically the reason that the president was like, oh, we can't wait to work with them was because they knew that they set it up that they couldn't do anything. Yeah. And it's like, no, this is not how this works. I mean, and apparently leading up to when they were signing it, they were doing this stuff the same day as the signing. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's just shit. Don't, don't tell me you, you're ethic committee. You have an ethics committee, Disney? Really? Because it doesn't seem like you do. Well, now let's say, well, we got rid of her. So, well, they replaced like, it with somebody else. There's some guy. This is not going to end well for them. They are not, you know, for all the all the talk about, you know, playing nice with Florida, they're definitely not playing nice with Florida. And uh, we have seen how vindictive Ron DeSantis can be. Well, and given, this is not going to go Given well. the shitty situation that Disney is in right now, and the fact that they're like, you know, laying off these people that, you know, higher up people even mm. and trying to cut their their their, their uh, cast members and employees down. And they're telling you that they come down of the year, I think they're going to cut more down. They're in, they're trying yeah. to cut 5.5 billion. Um, really not a smart thing. I mean, no. really not. No. So we're going to watch this and see how this plays out. I mean, I think that there is going to be a combative tone between Disney and Florida for well, years was, to come. Well, there was, obviously. Yeah. Disney yeah. was, Disney. of course they were. They were way too nice. They were way too. We thought it odd. Yeah. They were like, oh yeah, guys, you know, that's fine. Yeah. We can't wait till you take over. And then you read the fine print and realize you can't do anything. But like I said, again, if that was the case that anybody anywhere could have a meeting before they got taken over and say, well, we're just putting this in there. And, and you know, the same day you saw, like an hour before you signed it. No way you could have seen it to review this. Oh, companies try that shit all the time. It's I like know, hostile but, I mean, takeover. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to make sure that you like can't lay anybody off. <laughs> but they don't win because it's not, it's not it's not okay. Company. It's our company now. We can do with it whatever the fuck we want to do with it, right? Um, it's their land now. It's Florida's now, Mickey bitches. It's, and you just you – just, Well, no, Mickey still owns it. They just have the board. They yeah, the board. but they're, they can totally – Well, I, you know what? The, the flip side is what's going to happen – is that the things that the government can do and then can, you know, have control over within Disney now, they're going to leverage that hard. Yes. It was really dumb because yes. now it's going to, you, you, you like hit the ball on the, the wiffle ball and it's going to come back around and smack you in the face, you know? <sighs> Not smart, Disney. Good luck with that. You could They probably would have just worked with you and they probably could have worked together and you, if you had been, you know, at least open to working with them, I'm sure they would have been a little more lenient and been like, okay, well, if you bring up some good points, we understand what you're saying and we'll work with you. Mm -hmm. But now you just pissed them off. 
So that was really, really, really stupid. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. We'll keep an eye on this situation. I think things are gonna get way, way more interesting. I just think it's dumb. I mean, could it have, was there, very it dumb. It could have been, you know, done in a way that everybody could have got along, and it could have been, you know, political. You know, it would have been political, but it could have been like it could have been like a democratic thing where they 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 here's why we have it this way and explain it, and if it made sense, then they would have been like, oh, that makes sense, you know, yeah. you could, and everybody could have got been happy. But no, no, no. No, no, Disney. That was that was colossally stupid. All right, so let's uh, wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Check out piratesandprincesses.net, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.